I'd like to acknowledge the ancestors of the land on which we stand. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. My name's Jindu, which means sun in the sky in Murning language. My grandfathers and my ancestors come from Murning country, down in South Australia, home to many animals on the land and in the sea. I'm going to read you a story and I'm going to teach you some songs. Let's start with this one. Float, Little Boat, Float. Brought to you by DigiU Thoughts. Written by me. Once upon a time in a forest by the river, there lived a little girl. She lived with her father in a cabin they had built from the yellow bark trees that surrounded them. The family led a simple life taking only what they needed from the land and sea. Every day, her father would ask her to go down to the river to collect water. Jindu, the sun, would rise. And she would get up out of bed, put on her shoes, and run down to the river. On this day, as she was making her way through the forest, she stopped and noticed something small, long, and bendy. It was a plastic straw. She hadn't seen a plastic straw before, so she picked it up and continued on to the river. When she arrived, she scooped up some water, just as her father taught her using a wooden bucket he had carved. But on this day, the river was flowing just right to float a boat. So the little girl stopped and pulled out the plastic straw she had found earlier and sang a song as she placed it into the river. Float, little boat, float. It's time to be on your way. Float, little boat, float. Down the river way Float, little boat, float Little boat floating down the stream Float, little boat, float And drift into a dream When the boat floated away As far as the eye could see She stood up she gathered her bucket of water and headed home before Jindu, the sun, would set and Yagan, the moon, would rise. The next day, the little girl awoke. She got up out of bed, put on her shoes and ran down to the river. On her way through the forest, she stopped again and noticed Jindu, the sun, was shining on something. It was a plastic bottle. She hadn't seen a plastic bottle before, so she picked it up and continued on to the river. When she got there, she scooped up a big bucket of water and pulled out the plastic bottle she had found earlier. This time, she threw it into the river and sang a song. Float, little boat, float It's time to be on your way Float, little boat, float Down the river way Float, little boat, float Little boat floating down the stream Float, little boat, float And drift into a dream When the boat floated away, as far as the eye could see, she stood up, gathered her bucket of water, and headed home before Jindu the sun would set and Yagan the moon would rise. Just like the days before, the little girl woke up to the light of Jindu the sun. She got up out of bed, put on her shoes, 
and ran down to the river. And just like the days before, she found another boat to float. This time, it was a plastic bag. She hadn't seen a plastic bag before, so she picked it up and continued on to the river. When she got there, she scooped up a big bucket of water and she pulled out the plastic bag she'd found earlier. This time, as she threw the plastic bag into the river, she heard a voice. Excuse me, do you know where your boats go? The little girl jumped up and said, who was that? My name is Wilpin Worry, the river. Every day a little girl has been dropping her plastic boats into my flowing waters. Yes, that was me, said the girl. Well, if you follow the boats downstream, you will find out where your boats go, the river spoke. So the little girl followed the river downstream for quite a while until she finally arrived at the beach where the river met the ocean. Hello, Wupinwari, the little girl called out to the river mouth, but no answer. Instead, another voice called back at her. My name is Bilia, the ocean. I flow into Wilpinwari, here at the river mouth, said the ocean as its waves washed in and out of the river. Bilia, Wilpinwari told me to follow the stream to where my boats go, said the little girl. Well, you see, your plastic boats float from the river into my ocean. The animals that live here swim around and look for food every day. Sometimes they eat plastic bags because they think it's a yummy jellyfish. These plastic boats you float can end up hurting the sea life that lives here. As Billy of the Ocean finished speaking, the waves crashed on the beach where the little girl was standing. The waves pushed up a plastic bottle, just like the one she had floated the other day. And Bilia said, Here is one of your plastic boats I could find in my ocean. The others have spread far and wide. So the little girl promised Bilia and Wilpin Worry. From that day forward, she would never float plastic in the waterways again. And with a heavy heart, she left and headed home before Jindu the sun would set and Yagen the moon would rise. That very next day, the little girl woke up, got up out of bed, put on her shoes, but instead of running down to the river, she asked her father, how can we look after the animals that live in the waterways? He replied, let me show you. And the little girl and her father gathered tools and ran down to the river together. When they arrived, her father found a yulubak tree. He used his tools he had made to cut the bark off the tree, only taking what they needed. He tied together the sides with string and made big wooden oars to paddle with. He said, this is a wadaga to paddle with. This is a kobada, a little canoe. This is how our grandfather's ancestors built canoes. And the little girl and her father jumped in to the kobada and using the wadaga to paddle with, set off down the river and her father taught her how they looked after the waterways and all of the animals that lived there.
float, little boat, float. It's time to be on your way. Float, little boat, float. Down the river way. Float, little boat, float. Little boat floating down the stream. Float, little boat, float. And drift into a dream. Did you enjoy that story? Well, if you ask an adult or a grown up, they might be able to show you where you can put plastic bottles or any other recyclable goods. Where I come from, on Murning Country, down in South Australia, it's our duty to look after the land and the sea. We also say gumanieri, which means friendly, caring people. And that's our law and our custom. Do you remember Bilia, the ocean? Well, we're gonna learn his song and the actions to some of the animals that live in the sea. Let's start with Bilia, the ocean. His waves wash in and out of the ocean. Bilia, the ocean. Midden Bilia, midden Bilia, midden Bilia. Midden Bilia, midden Bilia, midden Bilia. Great. Let's learn Jittera, the white whale. It's my main totem. Cross your hands, just like this, to make a tail, and flap Jittera's whale tail back and forth as he swims. Midden Jittera, midden Jittera, midden Jittera. Midden Jittera, midden Jittera, midden Jittera. Jittera, the white whale. What's next? Let's learn Wanjula, the dolphin. Wanjula jumps out of the ocean and dives back in again. Out, back in. Jumps out of the ocean and back in again. Out, in. Midden Wanjula, midden Wanjula, midden Wanjula. Midden Wanjula, midden Wanjula, midden Wanjula. Great. Let's learn the stingray, Badana. Badana has big wings like this. So cross your hands like this. Badana swims on the ocean and he flies through the ocean floor, back and forth. Midden Badana, midden Badana, midden Badana. Midden by the na, midden by the na, midden by the na. By the na, the stingray. And finally, let's learn Mutti, the fish. He just swims back and forth. Midden Mutti, midden Mutti, midden Mutti. Midden Mutti, midden Mutti, midden Mutti. Great. Now that you know all the animals and their actions, let's see if we can do it all together with a guitar. Ready? Starting with Bilia, the ocean. One, two, three, four. Midden Bilia, midden Bilia, midden Bilia. Midden Bilia, midden Bilia. Midden Bilia, 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 Jittera, the white whale. Midden Jittera, Midden Jittera, Midden Jittera, Midden Jittera, Midden Jittera, Midden Jittera. Wanjula, the dolphin. Midden Wanjula, midden Wanjula, midden Wanjula. Midden Wanjula, midden Wanjula, midden Wanjula. 
you learned a lot about learning language and all the sea animals that we need to protect. My name's Jindu, the sun in the sky that sets and rises on our beautiful country. <laughs>